Jersey Sports Owns High School Football Coverage is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Can Morris Knowles keep the undefeated season going? We will find out Saturday afternoon as the 10-0 Golden Eagles host Ramapo in the North 1 Group 4 Final. The Raiders started the year 0-3 but have since rattled off seven straight wins to reach the championship. It's Raider Bowl first in this game. They are going to orchestrate a 19-play drive to score first in this game. Casey Grusser to Sal Lavoni for the 11-yard score. It's a 7-0 game to start. Morris Knowles responds with a methodical drive as well. Bobby Brickner dives right up the gut and he bullies into the end zone for a five-yard touchdown. We're tied 7-7 late in the first. Next drive, Ramapo goes to the air. Casey Grusser is composed in the pocket. This is a strike to Charlie Wingfield. The Wake Forest commit gets down to the 30-yard line at the end of the first quarter. Liam Hayward caps off this possession in the second quarter with a two-yard touchdown run. Ramapo back on top here, it's 14-7. There was a lengthy pause early in the second quarter after a scary injury to Morris Knowles' Brent Burchin that left the crowd in silence. Burchin tells his teammates here he's okay as we resume the action. Two plays later, the Golden Eagles break off a big one. Chris Kaiser is hard to catch. He's gone from 50 yards out to tie the game. Kaiser is going to throw up the 5-2 in honor of Burchin. It's now a 14-14 ball game. Ramapo marches right back down the field and Dylan Rosano joins the party. The Raiders have the lead again, making it 21-14. Morris Knowles' lethal ground game was causing major fits for Ramapo. It's Chris Kaiser again. What a read by the quarterback as he goes 54 yards to the house. 340 left in the half and it's 21-21. The Raiders would continue to keep their foot on the gas. Casey Grosser shows off some serious elusiveness in the backfield, and then he somehow gets this pass off. It's Charlie Wingfield on third and 15. The senior keeps the drive alive with one of the clutch plays of this game. Ramapo turns to Dylan Rosano for a short two-yard touchdown right before halftime. The Raiders are up 28-21 at the halftime break. Third quarter, the Golden Eagles get the ball to begin the half, and they are going down the field. Justin Hansen picks up a first down, and more on the pitch. A seven minute, five second drive is finished off by Chris Kaiser's third touchdown of the day. It's now 28-28. But Ramapo would close the third with the lead make it three rushing scores on the day for Dylan Rosano. The Raiders are up 35-28 as we go into the fourth quarter. Knowles' ensuing drive extends well into the fourth, and here's the first big stop of the day. It's a Golden Eagle fumble recovered by Zach Darwish. There's 6.51 left in this game. However, Ramapo cannot turn this into points, and here comes a fourth down. Why are we showing you a punt? Well, this is the first punt of the entire game, and it's going to roll for a touchback. Morris Knowles has 80 yards to go to tie this game with three minutes on the clock. The Golden Eagles are now staring at a third and 10, and the call is a counter to Bobby Brickner, and he's rumbling down the field, breaking tackles. A beast quake level run picks up 61 yards. Knowles is inside the Ramapo 20 yard line. And then folks, the game comes down to this, a fourth and two from the 11. Bobby Brickner on the carry, they is their guy this season, but he's planted by Braden Mack. The refs are going to call for the sticks to measure it out. And the call on the field is short. Ramapo wins the game on a fourth down stop to capture the North 1 Group 4 sectional title. 35-28 is your final. The Raiders proved all the doubters wrong with a sectional championship win that was earned. Ramapo went with a run-heavy approach in this game to counter Morris Knowles. 
The plan ultimately worked and the result is a title. We stayed together, all right? Everything in our program is about being as one. And, you know, the, the kids really embodied that and really uh, took that to heart. And, um, you know, when we were down, there was no finger pointing. We just knew that we had to get better. The coaches had to get better. The players had to get better. The team had to get better. And everybody embraced that. We dug pretty far down. You know, we had a lot of inexperienced guys, a lot of juniors starting this year. Um, no one believed in us uh, when we were 0-3. We bounced back. You know, all, all came together and we couldn't be happier with the outcome so far. A lot, man. No days off. 0-3. We started 0-3. We believed in ourselves. No one else believed in us. And we came in. We came in clutch. And now we got two more games and Phillipsburg's next, baby. <laughs> Ramapo will travel to face Phillipsburg in the Group 4 semifinal next Friday night. Reporting from Rockaway, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.